Hey everybody, welcome to my man cave, or my garage I would say. Hey, on a rainy day, outside like today, it's a good day to get in your garage, organize your tackle, get a buddy. You know, I got my buddy right here, Chris Patterson, my bass caddy, helping me organize my Mustad KVD hooks that I got in from Mustad last week. So, uh, let's go take a look at what he's got going on now. What we did is we tried to organize them by size and by type. And what you'll see is you have two different styles here. You'll have your KVD triple grips, which are the best hooks out there. You'll have your ones that look like this, and you'll see the numbers down here on the bottom. And these are your longer shank triple grips. These would be good for um, your deep diving crankbaits or um, red eye shad or something like that, a 6XD. And then when you get into your square bills or something that's going to have around a lot of wood, you want to switch out and go to your short shank. You can kind of see the difference in the two. See the different size right there? Okay. These short shank ones will actually hug the bait a lot more, which will keep them from getting hung up. And they still have that triple grip functionality to them, which is when the bait, when the bass bites a hold of it, it's not going to have so much... Um, leverage out there because the hook's not going to be as long and so it's not going to be able to throw it because it's going to have that bait in tight inside of its mouth so it's going to be able to engulf that bait a little more but with these bigger ones it's got the same triple grip action it's just a little bit longer shank so you'll be able to use it in a little deeper water but for your um, for your square bills and things like that and you're going to be around a lot of wood you definitely want that short shank and then also we have is we have the triple grips in the red and that's the long shape shank uh, triple grips sometimes you want a little bit of red in your bait so we have the three different styles that we have here and this is predominantly the only hooks that Jason uses on his crankbaits as well as that's what I use and a few others that we know that um, will change out their hooks when you get a bait you know you get a, a, a bait like a strike king or um, a bomber or something like that what we typically do is we'll use the crankbait to practice with or to catch a few fish but the night before the tournament, we'll take these hooks and we'll replace all the hooks. So that way, if we do get a bite or when we get a bite, we know that our hookup ratio is a lot better because we have new hooks. There you have, folks, from the, from the Wiccan Ward Garage, Bass Caddy right there. Got to get you one.